What I'm about to show you guys is the 100% absolute best way on the internet to create an AI song or AI music and have it be so realistic that people won't even be able to tell that it's AI to begin with. So first of all, I want you guys to come on over to this website, same as usual. I'll have the link in the description if you somehow can't find it. And there's going to be, same as always, a couple ways that you can log in here. You can use Apple, you can use Discord. I'm going to use Google, it's the same thing that I always do, but you guys do whatever you want to do. All right, so I've created my song here and it's gone ahead and it's told me that I can either claim a username or a display name. I'm not going to do either, I really don't care, but there's a little bit of groundwork. I'm just going to skip through this. Uh, birthday, skip, uh, skip. You, you don't have, I mean, you can do it if you want to, but you don't have to. So because this is a new account, obviously I've got another account, but because this is a new account, there's a couple of different things that we have to go through before we actually get into the song creation. Now, first of all, when you create a new account, you're going to see in the top corner here that it says V4, and you can see on this right-hand widget here that it's also describing V4. So Suno V4 is by far and away the best AI model uh, for music creation that there is out there. And prior to V4, there was a couple of different ones. There was V2, which you could easily tell was AI. There was V3, there was v3.5 which actually 3.5 started to you know blur the line between is this ai is this a human is it something in between and v4 as you guys are about to find out you can't tell that it's ai trust me i don't care if you're beethoven you can't tell now, like I said, there's a couple different things that we have to go through here. So first of all, it says 100 credits in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, I believe if you're on the free plan, it's not going to be 100 credits every month. I believe it's only 50 credits. And once you create a song, it uses 10 credits. But not only that, when you do create a song, it makes it so that you have to create two songs at once. So I guess in a way, it's five credits per song, but you, but you have to create two songs every iteration of the create button that you use. So let me just come on over to the credit section here so you guys can get an idea for the different plans that they offer. Now, when you guys are viewing this, you, you may be viewing this in 20 years from now, who knows, the plans might've changed. But what I do wanna say is that if you want to use V4, which I mean, you're really going to want to use it if you want to, you know, prevent people from even knowing that it's AI, um, then you're going to have to use the pro plan. But to begin with, when you're on the free plan, they'll give you a certain amount of credits that you can use V4 for, which is what we're going to be doing in this video just to demonstrate it. Um, but outside of that, yeah, you're going to want to use the pro plan. It's only $10 a month, so I really don't think it's that bad. So with all that being said, let's cut through all the useless shit and let's actually get to the stuff that matters. And I just realized I'm actually going to need to put my headphones on for this because I'm listening to music. All right, so the trusty headphones are on. Now let's get into some actual examples. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this explore section right here. And this is kind of, you can think of it kind of like social media, like TikTok explore page or, or for you page. I don't even use it, um, but that type of stuff. You can kind of go through and click on different songs that you want to click on. You can roll the dice here to get random stuff that you want to get. <laughs> American primi uh, primitivism two-step. Yeah, you can just African folk dance. Right, that kind of goes on. <laughs> No, but yeah, you can go through, if you want some inspiration, you can just scroll through, you can click on whatever you want to do. It's a nice little way to just, um, you know, if you're, if you're lacking inspiration, if you want to um, get, get some ideas for how to create your own song, you can go through there. A different way of doing that is when you go to the homepage, I actually like doing this a little bit better. You can see what's trending, not only in the month um, and not only in like, I guess your country, but also in the, in the whole global section, the entire world, you can see what's trending and you can see the amount of plays that it has, the amount of likes it has. You can see the comments, a bunch of different stuff. Um, so if you want to, you can also go through here and you can click random Happy stuff. Happy Valentine's. That is wild. I, I don't know. I'm making every, a Valentine's song like that. Um, let's see this. Okay. But yeah, long story short, you can also see the different models that they're using up here. So pretty much every time that you see something in the trending category, it's going to be a V4 model because it, like, I, like I mentioned before, it's by far the best model to use for the song creation. And whenever I'm in this section, I always find that my, my favorite ones, it's always the ones that say Chicago, Chicago rap. I'm trying to find one here to show you guys an example. Chicago rap here, let's play this one. It, it gives me like Kanye vibes. Stand me. I mean to be distant, I mean to be vague, but I fold under pressure like time on a page. Yeah, I'm not going to play too much because I don't know what the rules are with playing the music. I don't know, whatever. But um, but yeah, that's that's the V4 model right there. And it's a good example. And so also in this right hand little widget over here, you can see um, the type of style that they use in this section. You can see the name that they made it. You can see the, the lyrics, everything listed out right here. And not only that, this is it's honestly kind of like SoundCloud or like Spotify because you can click on their profile if you like whatever they make. And chances are you're going to find similar stuff to the song that you just found. Let me just play this. Been low. Mm-hmm. 
I got saints in my corner. I've been called the bra. They want blood. Yeah, so it's so a relatively similar stuff. If you want to, you can follow them. It's it's literally kind of like a, its own little mini social media right here. Um, but now that I've shown you guys the foundation of uh, you know, how to kind of get inspiration, how to p view other people's songs, let's get into how to actually create our own songs because that's probably the reason why you're here. All right, so once you're ready to create some songs or some music, there's a couple of different things that we need to go through here. So first of all, if you want to pick your version, obviously you always want the highest version. I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, secondly, we're in the basic section right here. So if you can see in the top left-hand corner, it says custom. Now, if we click on custom, it's going to give you a bunch of different options. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all the tutorial because I'm going to explain it better than Suno would. But um, yeah, there's a bunch of different options. It gives you a bunch of different more um, customization ability that you can use to, you can even select your own, your own lyrics. You can select the style, you can select the title. Um, you even have personas here, but that's a, a pro plan feature, so we're not going to go through that. But to begin with, let's start off with the basic function. So in the basic function, you don't even want to mention lyrics, really. You just want to kind of describe the song. It has an example right here. So it says, a melodic raga song about dancing all night long. And it's, it's very simple prompt if you're just looking for a very simple outcome. Now, we are going to create three different V4 examples throughout this video. And at the end of the video, we're going to go through and see how each one sounds. So the first example that we're going to do is an instrumental. If you don't know what an instrumental is, it's basically where there's just no lyrics. It's only the music behind it. So we're going to come down here and we're going to go to this little cheat sheet that I made for you guys. If you guys want access to this, by the way, you can go to the link in the description. It's my free community. You get a bunch of resources and you'll be able to get access to this so you can create, uh, you know, a better specified song. Now, like I said, because it's an instrumental, we're just going to look for something very basic. So let's, let's see here. Let's get, let's get a melancholic atmosphere. Okay. And then uh, what else should we do? Melancholic atmosphere and, and vulnerable vocals, okay? So, <laughs> so let's go back here now and let's just say a melancholic atmosphere and vulnerable vocals for losing your friends. So we should, in theory here, get a, like a kind of sad... It's slow song, I guess. Um, there is a different uh, option right here as well, guys. If you don't want uh, the model to be so restrictive and robotic, I guess, there is an option here for Remai. I don't know if that's how you say it, but what this allows you to do, it's kind of how the Grok option, if you guys have used Grok. It allows the AI to have a little bit more creativity, but sometimes that might be at the expense of not obeying the prompt to the, to the full extent, right? Um, we're actually going to select that here because I kind of like when the AI is able to, you know, float around and be a bit more fluid um, in its creation. So, so let's go ahead and let's create here and let's see what we get. And it does usually take about 20 to 30 seconds to create the full song. But while it's creating that, let's go ahead here and let's unselect instrumental and let's keep the prompt the exact same so we can see the difference between instrumental versus, uh, yeah, I guess not instrumental, whatever, if there's a term for that. So let's go ahead and create here one here without the instrumental. And that will be two different examples. But remember how I said that every time you click create, it'll make two songs out of the one prompt that you used. So you're, we're going to have two songs here that are instrumentals. And then we're going to have another two songs here that are, I guess, lyrical songs. If you guys do need some extra examples and ideas, by the way, you can always click down this toolbar right here and it gives you a bunch of different stuff. Honestly, just, just use the cheat sheet. It's much easier. It goes much more in depth, um, but I guess do whatever you want to do, whatever works for you guys. So now for the third and final example, we're actually going to select the custom option. And like I said, this is where the real good stuff happens. You can have so much creativity and so much, uh, I guess, control over the outcome of the song. So a couple of things to go through here. Number one, this question mark beside lyrics, it'll explain. You can create uh, random lyrics and you can write your own or you can get some help from AI. There's use two verses, eight lines for best results, right? So it gives you a few guidelines right there and you can also, like it says for a song right here or uh, line by line. We're not going to do either of them, but you can use Suno AI to kind of, uh, you know, guide you or write your own lyrics or you could just go to ChatGPT if you want to. Now a key note to keep in mind here is that, like I showed you guys before, it does say use two verses and eight lines for the best results, but that doesn't mean that you need to do that every single time. Obviously, if you have uh, your own specific requirements, then Suno is kind of going to adapt in order to meet those requirements. So for the sake of a really quick example right here, I'm just going to go back to the Suno AI cheat sheet and we're going to scroll down to the bottom. And at the bottom, there's going to be a quick example um, that we can use just to show you guys what it'll be like. So we're going to copy and paste it here and I'm going to show you guys the format here. So let me explain it real quick. First of all, you have the intro. Now, what the intro does 
we have the song structure. So all of these you can use to kind of signal to Suno about what part of the, the song you're describing. So we've got the intro, a verse, pre-chorus, whatever. Um, at the start right here, we're obviously describing the intro. And after the intro, we're going to just put it put a space over here. You don't need to, but it, it helps to kind of separate the different parts of the song. And then after that, we're going to separate the chorus from the outro. So you can see right here, we've got the intro and then we're describing what, the, what we want the intro to sound like. So we say smooth jazz chords with soft lo-fi crackle and light sleigh bells. And then after that, we say spoken word. And we say, again, yo, my name is Jeff. I like to jump up and down. And this was created by AI. Now I frown, best lyrics in the world. Then we've got the chorus and we follow the exact same format. So we describe how we want the chorus to sound, you know, the kind of characteristics or the features of it. And then after that, we follow it with the spoken word. And then the last thing is the outro. So we've got, again, how we want it to sound. And then we follow it up with the spoken word, which is the exact lyrics. Um, just below that, you do have the option to exclude styles here. But again, that's a paid feature. It's really kind of useless there, let me be honest. Um, it's It kind of follows the exact same principles as like if you used uh, Mid Journey or you used any kind of... Uh, video generation or image generation software when it gives you the option to exclude certain features. It's the exact same, but it's the music version of that. And then we've also got the ability here to kind of select our own style of music. You can do that if you kind of want to emphasize uh, whatever points you made in this bar up at the top, but we're, good. we're just going to leave it blank because we did describe it up here. And then the last thing, you can add your own persona. We're not going to do that, obviously, because it's a paid thing. And then you can just enter your title. We're just going to, <laughs> we're just going to name it Jeff. Name it Jeff. Cool. And once you're happy with everything you've done, cool, we got our lyrics in there, we got our descriptive words, bang, 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 we just click create. And then that's going to go ahead and create the two songs for us. So just a quick recap over here, we've got the two songs that are instrumentals, we've got the two songs that followed the same prompt as the instrumentals, but they're not instrumentals. And then we've got Jeff over here, which is our custom song with a little bit more descriptors and details and stuff like that. So we're going to wait for Jeff to go ahead and finish creating himself here, and then we're going to go through each one and see how each one sounds. And really quick, guys, while it's creating that, if you guys do want access to the, this uh, Suno AI cheat sheet and you want to go ahead and use this to create your own stuff, uh, click the link in the description. You'll also get access, like I always say, you'll also get access to the Discord community. It's a free community. You can talk to other people about AI. You can talk to me about AI. You can ask questions, do whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see how these songs sound. All right, so it's just about finished creating all the songs and now it's time for the fun part. Now we can actually eat the fruits of our labor and, and let's see what these songs sound like. So the first two right here, like I said, is the instrumental. So let's go ahead and see. Remember I said it, what was it? Uh, I said melancholic, uh, it says right here, emotional vulnerable vocals and melancholic pop. Yeah, so it's got that sad. Damn, this is actually kind of depressing. Anyway, on to the next one. Keep in mind, guys, as I am showing you guys these results, I also just want to reiterate something very important, which is what it says right here. Don't expect to get your desired outcome 100% of the time. At the end of the day, even though this is extremely crazily good AI, it follows the exact same principles of all the other different AI, like image generation and video generation, which is that you're never going to get your desired outcome 100% of the time. In fact, chances are you're going to have to re-roll the dice a few times before you get whatever it is that you're looking for. So let's get back to the, uh, the song taste testing real quick. So what I just showed you guys is the first one, the instrumental one. We're going to skip over the other iteration because it's going to be very similar to this iteration and let's go to the one we used uh, that isn't going to be an instrumental but it used the exact same prompt so let's click this one right here when I was young, I had to now see that's insane and remember i said we wanted it to be about losing friends it's got the lyrics right here if you want to see them So yeah, I mean, that's the one that isn't an instrumental and it has all the lyrics and it follows the same type of vibe, the soft, the melancholic and the, uh, what was the other one I used? Vulnerable vocals. So now we're on to the third and final example and we're going to let this one play out a little bit more because it is uh, the highest quality one, I guess. So remember, uh, we, we actually included lyrics in this one. So this is the only example we have where we told the AI specifically exactly what lyrics we wanted to incorporate. So let's go ahead and play it. My name is Jeff and I like to jump My up name is and Jeff. down. This was created by AI. Now I'm friends. <laughs> Keep in mind, these lyrics are ass. <laughs> yeah. 
Brambus AI has the best community now. We go ninja mode and run up a tree. Yep, this is the best chorus. Best lyrics in the game, like a walk in the saurus. Yep. Yep. Yep, this is the best chorus. If you want more, you have to pay. And honestly, just because I'm curious, I kind of want to hear what this one sounds like because it's half the length. Okay. Yo, my name is Jeff, and I like to jump <laughs> up and down. This was created by AI. Now I frown. Brand new state oh, the best got a female and a male voice. We go ninja mode. Hey, this kind of slaps. Like, hey, I might make yeah, this, this the anthem this of the, of the, the best channel. Chorus, best in the game, like okay, I think that's enough for now. So I've shown you guys all of the different examples. This is how you create the best songs on the internet using AI. People won't even be able to tell that it's AI. Cool, that's it. Done. Bye. Do you play instruments? Barely. Do you know how to work a soundboard? No. I have no technical ability. And I know nothing about music. <laughs>